okay so at this point we're going to see how to complete the electronic European language portfolio the only thing you need to do is to click on this link and here you can read some instructions so what you're going to do you have to read the introduction fill in your personal details fill in the learning to learn chart and complete the self-assessment checklist with your level that is demand then you will get the PDF and send it to the third evaluation forum the last forum okay right if you want to learn more things about the ETEL you can read here okay why we are going to use it we're going to use it in order to make you um, reflect on what you are doing okay on what you have done what are your goals what are your new objectives for the future and what is your uh, current level of the language so once you get to this link okay you will get to this page sometimes instead of this page you can also get this other page okay so don't worry if you get to this uh, the only thing you have to do is open the one file and then you have to access right so as you can see it's the same at this point you have to create your username because you don't have a username neither a password so you need to create a username yeah you have create your username, the password, and confirm the password, okay? And then you create your username. Okay, because I have already one, I'm going to use my username and my password in order to show you what you have to do. Once you enter, as you can see, you can also choose the language. For example, if you want to remain for in Spanish or Valencia or Catalan, you can also pick out the Valencia or Catalan. The uh, you utilizare English, okay? Right. So here you have the. But it's better for you to use or Spanish, for example, or Valencia okay or if you are good at english if your level is b2 of course or b1 and you feel comfortable you can use the english setting at this point what you're gonna do is read the introduction first as you can see there are different sections introduction personal details biography dossier and passport and then at the end we generate the pdf the pdf is the final document that you will get and will give you a final recording of your um, progress now we start with the reading the introduction so first read the introduction why we are using the ipad second personal details complete the info with your personal details and pick out the language that you want to reflect on that is english after that we go to the biography setting. In the biography setting, there are different things. We're going to start reflecting on the self assessment checklist. So that is the B1. So as you can see, there are listening, reading, spoken interaction, spoken production, and writing. You have to complete what I can do and what I can do. And what are your aims? okay for example uh, i can say that i can understand simple technical information okay yes i can do it or oh, not yet and here you get as you can see a percentage oh i can understand the main point in the programs of my interest i think yes i can do it because i have already done it or if you say no not yet you just click here so it's your aim if you want it's your aim your goal and then i can follow and take part in conversational everyday issues on topics of general interest yes 
You can understand the details of what is said in common exchange negotiation, for example. Yeah, I can probably understand, maybe you can say my aims. Maybe I can say yes, I can do it. So I got a 50%, that is what I should get in this session. Then I will continue with the reading. If I come back to the listening, as you can see, the result is scored. Then I will keep on with the reading. The spoken interaction, again the same. And the spoken production, writing. So what can you do? All right, when you finish this section, then the next step is the um, learning, sorry, the le learning to learn, learning to learn, learning to re learn, here you reflect on what you do in order to learn, so in terms of emotion again, what I do and what I do, I, sh I think I should do, then reflect and organization, so how do you study, how do you organize your study, how do you learn new things, how do you fix the new things that you have learned, what do you do and what you should do in the future. Finally, remember always to write the day of the reflection, for example, that is the 21st of April 2016. And after that, um, after this reflection, Okay, you can also complete the other part if you want, but then we go to the dossier. In the dossier part is where you can upload, for example, your experiences, if you have got any experiences of abroad, or if you have any certification in the language, uh, you can also upload, if you want, any project or materials that you have produced. For example, I can add a new point, I can write on the description so in the description of, the, of my uh, town okay for example and it has been an individual gro group and then I have to check, uh, look for the what is the there is the file, for example, okay, and then need to upload the file. I don't have it here. I don't have any file of that, uh, for example. Hmm. Yeah. And then I save it. As you can see here, I have my file. And then again, remember to write when was the last date on the 21st of April 2016. What I said yet this year, I did more things. For example, I can also add the video of my presentation. So I can write it in the day and I did it and then I need to select the file for example look for the for the file you have and you can save it. It will be, you know, a bit longer, maybe, right? Because it's a video. Well, so maybe better to upload only PDF and Word documents, not video in this part, because it's going to be a bit slow, as you can see. Right, and now I'm going to continue then uh, sorry so basically this is the end and when you when you get to the end the only thing you have to do so I didn't want to enter to another and enter again because it gets stuck so 
Okay, once we have everything done, the only thing we need to do is to create the PDF. So, you have the description of my town. So here you can check the file that you have uploaded and you can um, choose which section of the portfolio do you want. Okay, you can generate the passport or you can um, get the biography, the dossier, Okay, so I think the only thing you need to do at this point is only that if you want the passport, for example, okay, like that. Or if you want everything, let's try everything, why not? Okay. And then we click on generate portfolio. You get your portfolio here. Once you've got your portfolio, the only thing you have to do is to upload the portfolio in the forum, okay? So again, I got an image, reflection, and here is empty. Again, what I can do, what I can do, okay? what I have learned and what I should still learn and then here we have the file that you have created and the final date okay um, well and that's it thank you for watching